Mm. A cheesy kielbasa ramen noodle. So we are back, finally. I want you guys to remember to please subscribe and hit that bell and I will keep on delivering. I am happy to be back. I've been a bit busy, so I am just a little, you know what I mean? Today we're gonna be doing a cheesy, a cheesy kielbasa ramen. It's gonna be really good. So I do have the beef kielbasa because I don't eat pork. So there you go. We're gonna be using the cheese ramen matches. And we have some mozzarella cheese here. I'm gonna be using as well. First I'm gonna put the noodles into the water, get them to boil. Uh, everywhere. These ramen, they come with packets of their own. Sauce packet here. Powder packet, which I'm gonna assume is cheese. <sighs> Let's get started with the kielbasa. Okay. I have my pan ready over here. All right, so I'm obviously not opening this up pretty well, but whatever, we get the gist. Oh shit, I'm supposed to open it up here. Oh my god. You know, I have scissors. I don't understand why I'm doing this to myself. Okay. All right. I'm not gonna use the whole kielbasa. Probably a quarter of it. No, for the rest of the way for another day. I'm gonna cut it very thin. Like this. See that? Like it like that. So give them a little thin cuts. Prep them for my dish. Yeah, I like the angle like that. That's way better. Okay. Alrighty. I don't really have anything else to prep. I have to get my avocado oil so I can grease the pan. The pan looks like it's about ready. Please remind me to take some of the water from the noodles and put it in the pan. We're gonna coat the pan with avocado oil. Okay? Okay avocado oil. Now I'm going to put in the kielbasas. Great. Perfect. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna let those cook for a moment. I'm gonna take some of the water from the ramen, add that in there. I'm gonna put some heavy cream. That's what I forgot. Heavy cream to kind of give it a base. I don't want it to be watery base. Just a little bit of heavy cream, nothing crazy. I don't want it to be too thick. Give it a quick flip. Yep. This is getting in pretty well. All right. Yeah, these look good. Now I'm only going to put just a little bit. I need the starch. The starch. Now it's time to add some heavy cream. That's it. Give it a stir. So that's the water, the heavy cream. Okay. All right, so everything's in. Now, sauce. It smells good. It's called sauce. It smells good. Mm -hmm. And then, powder. Got to stir this up. That looks good. That's dangerous. Please remember that this stuff is really spicy. So we're gonna have a ball. It's time to add the noodles. Not my most graceful add, but okay. Tongs. 
heat down. This is great. Get in the stir. Pour the stir. Get it everything in. Just evenly distribute the color into the noodles. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Now. Now, cheese. All right, get that to melt. Mozzarella. This looks great. And this is something I just thought of doing. So, you know. Not like I read it anywhere. For the final touches, some pepper. So there it is. So this cooked pretty well. I feel like all the colors match. Okay. I smell the cheese powder that came with it. First bite's for you. to the beef saltier so I feel, it's like a nice kick salt even though this whole thing is like one big salt but <laughs> one big cube of salt All right. so it's not as spicy as it usually is I think for two reasons one because of the heavy cream and the cheese that I added. And two, I went easy on the sauce. Like I put three fourths of the packet instead of the whole thing. Cause I feel like there was just too much going on and I didn't want to add too much now. Okay, delicious. I'm really enjoying myself. Like this is really good. And I'm also glad that I cut the kielbasa thin. I don't really like them too thick. Cause you did like, you know. Hmm. Mm. This is definitely a treat. All right. <clears throat> this is a wonderful idea. Oh, wonderful idea. Hmm. Jesus. Okay. So I'm glad that this worked out for a lot of us. This is really good. We did a good job. Mm. Thank you guys for coming. It's been a good time. I'm glad uh, kind of getting back into the groove of everything. I haven't been around. As always, you guys are the best. And I'm happy to be speaking with you guys again.